This time, we are going to run a moderation analysis. For that, you need three variables. Here, uh, we have three variables. And uh, happiness is the outcome. Extraversion is the predictor. And then there is social support. Uh, in this model, we call social support a moderator. I mean, we typically show it like this, uh, affecting the relationship between extroversion and happiness. This means that this relationship between extroversion and happiness depends on the levels of social support. For example, people who have higher levels of social support and people who have lower uh, values of social support, maybe these two groups of people are different in terms of the relationship between extroversion and happiness. This relationship may be stronger in one of these groups and weaker in the other group. So if we see that the relationship between the predictor and outcome depends on the values of, of the moderator, then we say that there is a significant moderation here. Or alternatively, you can say that extroversion and social support interact with each other in influencing happiness. To do this analysis, uh, there are many ways, but uh, I'm going to teach you how to do it in a SPSS using process macro. So you need to ins download and install process macro. In the previous short video, I showed you how you can download and install it on a SPSS. Okay, this is the data file, D2. And we have uh, all the three variables here. Happiness is our outcome. Extraversion is our predictor. And social support is the moderator. So we need uh, at least three variables for a moderation analysis. Analyze regression process. For this moderation analysis, we choose model one. And uh, our outcome, uh, we call it the Y variable here. So you send happiness here. Your predictor is extraversion. And in, in the macro, we call it X variable. So extraversion goes here. And then you have a box here, moderator variable. You find your moderator and send it to this box. In options, we usually need to ask uh, the macro to generate code for visualizing interactions. So you can tick it here. And uh, we need to center our continuous variables. And we don't need four decimal places in the output, so let's choose three. You have a choice here. Uh, do you want to use percentiles or standard deviation? And traditionally, we, we choose standard deviation. Also, some uh, researchers believe that a percentile, percentiles are uh, better. But let's choose standard deviation for this demonstration. And uh, then I click continue. If you have variables with long names in your data, you have to click this. Otherwise you get an error message. So uh, let's do it just to be safe. Okay, we are all set. And if you click on okay, you will get the results of your moderation analysis. We use model one, which is a simple moderation model. And our, our outcome is happiness, our predictor is extroversion, and our moderator is social support. And this is our sample size. So one regression has been conducted. And for that, we get R square, R square, is uh, 0.54. This means that more than 50% of the variance in happiness is explained by extraversion, social support, and the interaction between them. 
So you get your F value and degrees of freedom, three and 124, which is significant. And so this amount of explained variance is significant. Good to know. Then you have your predictors here. Extroversion is your predictor. Social support is your moderator. You are specifically interested, also you have to report these values, but you are particularly interested in the interaction term. The interaction term for extroversion and social support was included in your regression after centering these two variables. So this is the unstandardized regression coefficient. This is the standard error. Uh, this is the T value, and this is the P value. So is it smaller than 0 0.05? And there is no zero in the confidence interval. So you can say that you have a significant interaction between extroversion and social support. Or you can say that the relationship between extroversion and happiness is moderated by social support. Uh, you remember we chose a standard deviation, one standard deviation below the mean, mean, and one standard deviation above the mean. And this part is showing that. So these are three values of social support. One standard deviation below the mean, mean, which is zero, because we centered our moderator. So the mean is zero and one standard deviation above the mean. Uh, these are three values of social support. Uh, uh, conventionally, we consider one standard deviation below the mean as low social support, and mean is the average social support, and one standard deviation above the mean is high social support. And you see that the, this effect is actually the unstandardized regression coefficient for extraversion at three levels of social support low social support, medium social support, and high social support. You see that uh, at the low social support, the association between extroversion and happiness is weaker. And then at mean social support is uh, stronger. And at high social support, you see that the, the relationship between extroversion and happiness is the strongest. Uh, they, they are different in strengths, but uh, in terms of significance, statistical significance, all of them are significant. And uh, you can see that as social support increases, the relationship between extroversion and happiness also becomes stronger. And that's how social support is affecting the association between extroversion and happiness. But a good idea is to show this in a plot, in a moderation plot, interaction plot. So let's do that. You have to select this part of the output from data list three to, to this dot. And you have to copy this. Then you have to open a syntax file. So file, new syntax. Paste that part of the output here, and then click on run, and then click on all. And you get this plot, which is very difficult to understand. Double click on it. And a new window opens here, click on variables, and then element type, change this to fit line. And then click apply. Now you can close the new window. Here you have a plot, uh, a moderation plot. Here happiness is shown, Extraversion is shown here, and social support is shown here. Uh, this plot is telling you that 
um, at the lower level of social support, one standard deviation below the mean, which is the blue color, see that the association between extroversion and happiness is uh, weaker. And at the high, uh, high level of social support, the association between extroversion and happiness is stronger. Uh, the message that you get from this plot is consistent with this section, showing that at low level of social support, the relationship is weaker. And at the highest level of social support, the, the relationship is stronger. Um, you can improve this plot by clicking on it. Uh, each element of the plot you can click on. For example, if you click a few times here, you can change uh, the, the label. Uh, similarly, you can click on these, uh, you can change the color, uh, you can use patterns for the lines by clicking on each element. You can change the uh, font size, you can change the color. So what do we need to report? First, you need to report, you basically what we did was, what the macro did for us was running a regression analysis after centering the moderator and predictor and creating an interaction term. So this uh, regression analysis has three predictors, extraversion, social support, and the interaction term. So you need to report it like a regression analysis. You need to uh, please see the video on how to report regression analysis. You need to report R square, F value, degrees of freedom, and P value. And then you need to have a table for your predictors uh, on, on standardized uh, regression coefficients and T values, P values, and confidence interval. Also, you need a separate table uh, in APA style, of course, uh, to present these conditional effects of the focal predictor, which means extraversion, at values of the moderator, which is social support. So this should be presented in a table. And then you also need to include uh, the plot after improving it. This is one way to report your moderation analysis. You have to report that you use the process macro in SPSS, and you need to provide a reference for that. So the newest edition of the book is this that you can cite. You provide the R square and your regression. And then you uh, present the, the results, uh, your unstandardized regression coefficients in the table. As you can see, our interaction term which is the interaction between social support and extroversion is significant. It's a smaller than 0 0.05. So we, based on this, if this is significant, we conclude that we have a significant moderator. But if this is not significant, we conclude that uh, the moderation was not significant. The interaction was not a significant predictor. And these are conditional effects. You just uh, report them. Uh, directly get it from the output and put it in table here. And this is uh, the moderation plot.